Hey guys, just a quick word. YouTube has demonetized us once again, so if you want to support No Jumper and what we do over here on this YouTube channel, there are three easy ways. First off, the free options. That would be liking, commenting, subscribing, or just telling a friend. Or you could head on over to NoJumper.com and buy a shirt like the one I'm wearing right now or one of the products featured right here. The third way and one of the best ways to support this channel is to actually hit up one of our live streams and have us play your music. We charge $100 per song, but it gives you a really good way to get feedback on your content. Plus, it really helps keep us uh, making content since we can rely on those donations. The podcasts don't always make so much money, but those help a lot. So I appreciate everybody for supporting. Let's get right into this content. The thing that a lot of fans really wanted me to ask you about is that that time that you... You're taking me back, too. <laughs> <laughs> to Word. some old school shit. That's what I think No Jumpers for is. We got to ask you about stuff that like nobody on the radio shows would yeah. ever ask you about. Um, what about the day that you and Gucci got into it on Twitter back in the day? Oh, man. <laughs> you beefed was... with the old school, volatile, angry ass Gucci. Man, I had to be very clever with, with my uh, my rebuttal. Right, because how do you argue with a fucking yeah. OG like that, I'm right? Like, first of all, I'm not going to argue with him. I'm just going to, I'm just going to like, I forgot what I said. He said, uh, he said something real disrespectful. He was like, yo, whoever the, the trap lord is or whatever, uh, he said something about, he said, your moms or some shit like that, like. Miles could suck a dick or some shit. That was Gucci wildin'. This is like right before he yeah. basically like got locked up for a few years. I got a story though. I got a st so he said, um, I said something about him being washed. That was how I, I answered that. Uh -huh. And then I went on a breakfast club, I think, and I was like, yo, he should want me to like mimic him or want me to, you know, embrace, you know, well, he should embrace me for right. like being a younger, you know, he the trap god, I'm the trap lord. But I, my also my argument was my name was the trap lord before he he, he started claiming the trap mm. god because if you look back on the the date of my album and the video work I was always calling myself the trap lord so that mm. was a that was a lot of argument but I seen Gucci in Miami recently no no no, no. I'm cool with Gucci now okay like, but like he apologized and everything yeah and we laughed about that shit. But the um I went during that time of that Twitter shit when he was wilding on everybody, uh -huh. I had seen him in Miami and I was by myself. For some reason, I didn't have no security with me. Okay. I have no manager with me, nothing. And I was in the airport and I seen this motherfucker. I'm like, I hope he don't see me. <laughs> I hope he don't see me. Don't see me right now. At the airport. That's the funny. Airport. Cause you could totally be at the airport by yourself. Yeah. You know, like you might not go anywhere else, but you feel safe in the airport. Yeah, but like shit. At that time, like Rocky was telling me Gucci was looking for me and all of that shit. He ran up on Rocky in the club, like, where that nigga fur go? <laughs> yeah, so it was, he really had it out for me. Wow, that's so crazy because you know that that was Gucci tripping, like at a point where he was not in the right state of mind because the Gucci that we all know and love would never go beef with some new hot rapper. Like, he would never yeah. like start a beef over some little shit because he, I think he knows his role and he knows that he's supposed to be this elder statesman in the game and that the people don't yeah. want to see him just talking shit to a, a young dude. Yeah, like that was an interesting time. I mean, that was like the same time period that he was really wilding out on Twitter. He said some amazing other yeah, things Yeah, he too. was going crazy on Waka and I'm like, oh, he definitely tripping. There's things he said at that time period that I still wonder if they were true. I'm not going to repeat them. <laughs> yeah. Some people know what I'm talking about. But yeah, like the transformation though is amazing mm. yeah exactly bro his abs different how what, different. Do, what do i gotta do to get abs like that what do i gotta like eat? like his belief system whatever he did to like that's what i'm talking about conditioning like mm. i read his book too like he that's was just good, yeah. fucking up fucking up fucking up fucking up going to jail figuring out a way to record music while he was locked up and rehab this that and the third but then, like, it was just like one last time he just got it right. And it's so shocking when you're reading the book because he keeps fucking up so many times. Yeah. But he keeps fucking up his life so many times and he keeps like saying that he's going to get better. And then something happens and he starts getting fucked up again and blah, blah, blah. But like, it happens so many times in the book before he finally gets his shit together. But now the extent to which he really has his shit together is like the most motivating shit. Like, damn, if Gucci could get it together, then anybody every, could get every lean sipping crazy ass dude Gucci's that I know. Gucci's in Milan. Yes. At the Gucci fashion show. And wow. He had never left the United States until like a year ago. Wow. His whole career because he was always on papers. 
Yeah, that's crazy. That actually made me genuinely like extremely happy. Like yeah. seeing him just traveling the world Gucci and finally the, getting to live that. He's the he's the the hope for real. Shout Facts. out to Gucci. I appreciate you coming in, man. This was really oh, good. Oh man, this was really good. Why like, is the album so short? Um, or EP, right? Do you EP? Yeah. I listened to it like five times today because it's so short that it just keeps replaying. That's probably because maybe if it was so long, you want to listen to it five times. That's true. I listened to it in the gym today a couple of times, and uh, various normies were coming up to me and being like, "I like this shit. Where? What, what is this?" Word. Wow. Mm, that's a good sign. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, it's short because I just didn't want to do a long ass album. Mm. I feel like that's where music is going now. It's like short and like some people just put out singles, mm. you know, just one joint. And there's like YouTuber rappers basically who like the only time you really pay attention to them is when they just drop that one YouTube video. It's a dope video. Yeah. And they, do, they don't even need a project. Yeah, that's, that's what I feel like music is going more towards. But like I guess like when I put together a project of work, like and it'll be like 12 songs, maybe it's like skits and just me trying to tell a story. But this is like really was about the Sonics and me working with more females and just getting off songs that I really loved. Mm. I just put them out. I'm happy you put Rico Nasty on there. Yo, Rico Nasty is ill. Such a cool person. Yeah. Such a great she's character, dope. man. She's awesome. Yeah. she's To me, she's going to have a promising career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's just got that. I like her because she got such a different look and different style. Different angle. Totally different angle on what it is to be a woman. Just like Tiara Watt. Mm, she's amazing. Different God. angle. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not compromising at all. Mm-hmm. That's what I fuck with. And I got nothing against girls who, like, show a lot of their body and stuff. I think that's totally understandable. Oh, we and love that, too. If we had that, we would do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's just dope to see girls, like, as the shit develops that could really, like, I mean, just that. like dudes. Like, we got layers to, like, what a dude can do. So, like, it's good to see it happen with females. Nobody's mad at Gucci for using a six-pack as a promotional weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing the same thing, you know? Fendi. You That's think you're ever going to get to that point? You're going to get so into the working out and shit, and you're going to just start posting fucking shirtless pics and shit? I do that shit now. Yeah. Well, you're owning it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do that shit now. Mm. It ain't like I got like the, like my stomach is hanging over my dick. Like, I got, I'm stocky. Like, my shit look nice. My but, shit sit up. But to go full Gucci Mane and really be like chicken and, ri chicken and broccoli for like, you know, he must have just, I don't know how the hell he did that. I'm just yeah. fascinated. He definitely like, he definitely got a team, though. You should have a team. Like, when you got that much money, you got a team that's making sure you're doing the right thing. But he inspires me, too, because I've watched his Instagram story and seen him hopping into the McLaren at, like, 7 o'clock in the morning by himself leaving the gym. A word. And I'm like, this dude is a G, because it's it does, it's nobody, yeah. like, cracking it the whip. All, yeah, it all, it all starts off with you, though. It's, mm -hmm. like, all in what you want. Like, I remember I had a um my trainer on tour with me, uh, D Mac. That's gonna be he, nice. Uh, he had he had me working out twice a day. I lost fourteen pounds on tour. Wow. Yeah. So like, it's just all in like your decision making. It's like you could either decide to have a, a rack of bullshit around you, or you could just have people around you that's gonna make you a better person. You gotta try if you want to like really live that healthy. Even because you know? even when you try, you get results. Mm. Even when you try, like even if you. The moment you start, you wake up, you're like, ah, I'm fucking tired of being lazy. And you do some push-ups, you start, your mind get clearer. You just start, like, feeling different. You That's why I'm, I'm so addicted to I wake up and I just eat eggs, drink coffee, and then go to the gym and work my ass off. And I feel like when I start the day like that, it gives me it's so fresh. much energy to take on the rest of the day and make positive choices about, like, what I eat, what I do. But then you feel good about yourself, too, because you knocked out the shit that you just didn't want to do like Whereas nobody if, wants to work out like, if i woke up and ate pancakes you feel so bad this day's a wash because yeah. how the fuck yeah. am i going to make a, a intelligent decision about working out or about what i eat for dinner once i already had them pancakes yeah you already fucked yourself over yeah I, i'm not showing self-love when i do that uh or you could eat you could just kill yourself in a gym and then have like pancakes like oh, i killed myself so i could i could i could have some pancakes today i've been through a lot of years in my life where i justified eating bad by working out and now i'm finally like eating really good and working out and i can say that i probably should have just been doing this for a long time yeah but you know but you can have your, your days where you you dibble and dabble in the, the bullshit definitely